slope of horizontal or vertical lines is 7.4b. We just learned that the slope of a line is its rise over run, but what if it's a vertical line and it has no run? What if it's a horizontal line and it has no rise? Well, we solve these the same way we solve for any slope. Take a look at these two. This orange vertical line, how many units left or right does this line go? It doesn't move to left or right at all. It's zero. How about this horizontal line? How many units up or down is it going? Zero. This side isn't moving any higher than that side. So it's zero. Zero. For horizontal or vertical lines, we set the difference in values, the change in values, is zero. We follow this formula for the slope of a line, the rise over the run. It's the y2 values minus y1 as the numerator and the x2 minus x1 as the denominator. We can pull these from left to right. We have negative 2, 2 as our x1, y1. And we have 3, 2 as our x2, y2. And we follow this formula. We take y2 minus y1, 2 minus 2, that's a 0. And we take x2, 3 minus x1, the negative 2. And remember, when you subtract a negative, you add the opposite, so we get 0 over 5. Well, that's a 0 slope. 0 over 5 division by 0 is undefined. It can't be done. Take a look at this one. We've got a vertical line here with points negative 4, 5 for x1, y1 and negative 4, negative 6 for x2, y2. We follow this formula and we do negative 6 take away 5 as the numerator. That's going to give us a negative 1 and we do negative 4 take away a negative 4. Well, that's going to give us a 0. When we add the opposite, we get 0. 4, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So we get negative 1 over 0. That's no slope. See? So a horizontal line has 0 slope, and we'll talk about that and prove that later on. And a vertical line has no slope. So horizontal is 0, vertical is no slope. The slope definition doesn't apply to vertical lines. See? And remember, the rise over the run makes a triangle and the line makes the hypotenuse of the triangle. And we should always choose our ordered pairs from left to right for the x1, y1, x2, y2, uh, y2, okay? And did you know the graph of a linear equation is a line? So a linear equation, ax plus by equals c, is often called the line ax plus by equals c. In our next video, 7.5a, we're going to talk about finding slope from an equation. And if you want the links to meaning of slope, which was our previous video, or graphing horizontal and vertical lines, or graph using intercepts, or the video on linear equations, they're all going to be in this description, so you can just click on them. And I'm also going to put a link to my grade 8 math linear equation playlist. It's an entire chapter from 8th grade math about linear equations, because that covers Algebra 1 also. So a lot of the stuff that I'm doing in this Algebra 1 playlist I've covered in the 8th grade math, it's just that this playlist for Algebra 1 goes into more detail, okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.